Did I sell my soul? Should I just tell them the truth? Yes, I'm with the Illuminati. Yeah. And what's crazy is I seen a video. Oh, you guys, I seen a video where she said her own. He was thinking. Sexy Red just went off on Lord Yamar after he put her on blast and exposed her for being an industry plant and having a funky. There have been allegations going around for a while now that Sexy is a plant who's been put in the industry to promote degeneracy and reduce the value of black women and innocent black kids. At first it just sounded like a wild conspiracy that people were making up to cope with the fact that somebody as ghetto and wild as her was able to make it in Hollywood. However, she was recently linked to a cult and these conspiracies are beginning to look like facts but that's not the only allegation that Sexy is currently facing because word on the street is her private part stink. And she's been infested with multiple STDs. In fact, a rapper who she messed with came out to tell the fans that the funky smell she had down there when they did the nasty you was enough to keep him from holding back on anything. This entire mess started a couple days ago when Lord Yamar appeared in an explosive interview with The Art of Dialogue. He went in on Sexy after getting asked what his thoughts were on her. He said Sexy is the lowest version of any woman and claimed that the reason why Sexy is getting pushed and rewarded in the industry is because they want to push an agenda and Sexy is everything they need to do that. This is the type of what they want to promote in the black community. You see that they want to promote like the lowest level of everything you know what i mean they're trying to turn our women into who you know what i mean like they really want to turn our women into a into culture knows girls like her you know what i mean and they're not usually put in this type of position you see what i'm saying but they're putting her in this position in order to inspire other young girls to be like her. It sounds like you feel like she's a plant. You feel like Sissy Red a plant? Probably, yes. Yep. And I think that plant is real. I don't think it's a conspiracy theory to believe that there are industry plants, you know, the Takashi 6 9s and, you know, people like that that are put in this game to skew the minds of the masses and lead them down a certain road. Yomar was not done reading her for filth, just yet he also dragged her for promoting her degeneracy to kids and going to schools to feed her adult content to them kids. If y'all remember Sexy got into it with the, the administrators of a school some time ago after they kicked her out of their school cause she came in there smelling. So look, so this school put me, I came up here, got you. Try to talk to the kids, get in the water that they gonna put me off me. Tell me that's my, like, what's this? Sure, nobody. They ain't come to see you, Otis. Otis? You heard who they screaming for? Hiya. Rubbing my head. And then there was that other time where she appeared in a high school to perform her extremely adult rated songs and dance inappropriately for them. People were extremely disgusted by this because it's one thing for her to make explicit content for adults but for her to try to push it to kids, knowing good and well these kids are easily impressionable. It's honestly unacceptable Lord Yamar made sure to bring this up in his interview, and he said the reason why she was going for the kids is because she sold her soul and it's part of her contract as an industry plan to infiltrate the black community with this mess and make it even more normalized that it's already has been made, and what better way to do that than to target the kids. They were trying to bring her to a school to like talk to the kids, right? But she pulled up to the school smelling like So they didn't let her in and she got mad. <laughs> and she got mad, so she got, went outside and, and, and uh, opened the sunroof to the limo or whatever and was like twerking out the limo while all the kids, while all the kids gathered around and cheered her on. You know, Sexy Red looked like the type of girls like back in the days, like you walk in the room and you'd be like, smell like somebody was f***ing in here. <laughs> and, and what's crazy is I seen a video, oh, you guys, I seen a video where she said her own he was thinking. Did you see that? I can't, I can't make, I'm not making this up. If I made that up, that'd be like defamation of some sh like, I just, <laughs> Like, I, 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 like she said that. 
But I said to myself, she looked like it get hot. <laughs> it looked like it get funky in whatever room she get in. It get hot. <laughs> Before jumping to conclusions, it's important to note that Yamar Sexy had previously shared that she experienced an odor issue and had been visiting her doctor to identify the cause. She posted a video on Instagram from the hospital with a caption, me at the doctor waiting on her to tell me why my expletive stank. The topic resurfaced recently when Chicago rapper Bonoff1700 claimed on Facebook that his private area still had a funky smell after sleeping with Sexy, despite taking multiple showers. In a June 22nd post, he commented, I just got out the shower and my still stank. What the expletive? A few days later, he followed up with, I had expletive sexy that night. Someone responded, suggesting the odor could be due to garia, a comment likely intended to be shady, but potentially based in some truth. You ever fought on twice? Okay, but I, I mean, never it's, that's the most pretty common. common yeah, be. very common. This is what happened. Me and my together, mm -hmm. and we broke up because he was cheating on me, so then we broke up. Then I went and did me, <laughs> and oh, then shit. he did him, and then we got, got we together. missed each other, came back together. And something went right. We both was like, what's the f this smell? Oh, shit. <laughs> like, ugh, what's going on? So Did then we both went to the doctor. Yeah, went to the doctor. Went to yeah. doctor but anyway, back to them. Allegations about her before being an industry plan. It actually runs a little deep, deeper than her making explicit music and trying to feed it to the kids. Apparently, she's linked to an Illuminati cult member who's affiliated with the Masons. And these are the people who implanted her into the industry to do the things she's currently doing. Someone tweeted the Masonic industry planted sexy red. So yeah, essentially a CA move. Just like when Kanye said Cardi B is a CA plant, except sexy red is 10 times more obvious. This person actually attached some evidence to these claims and everything that they said really checks out. They posted a photo of this welcome card that sexy received from the Freemason some time ago after she was invited to one of their secret meetings. The card read, Welcome to the Masonic Big Sexy. They also added this video of Sexy and her stylist having a conversation about how she left something at the Freemason Temple after she went there to have a meeting with them immediately after he said this CX. I looked very uncomfortable and cut the video off the elevator at the O, the elevator at the U, at the M, at the what's it call it, I'm the Freemason place where at the tempo, now watch you as now like I said before, the Freemasons are a cult group in Hollywood and they indulge in some Illuminati rituals in fact. When you look them up on Google, it says they're a tight knit group of men who make solemn vows to one another and become conrades in masonry. And life above all a Masonic lodge represents open arms, a helping hand and brotherly love to every Mason anywhere at any time. Blood is thicker than water, but nothing's thicker than brotherhood now. Even though this group is made up mostly of men, they sometimes pick people that influence like celebrities to push agendas for them. And when you take a close look at their official sign, it's almost identical to that of the Illuminati. And for those of y'all still doubting her affiliations to the despite all the hard evidence wait. Till you see this video of Sexy herself admitting to selling herself to the Illuminati. Stop. I think you're going to want to hear this. Sexy Red was online and revealed to the world that she might have sold her soul. And some people think that she planned. Oh, it's time for me to just keep it a honey with y'all. Like, yes, they got me in this shit. I don't know. I can't get out of it. I'm getting too much money. I'm getting too much money. I don't want to get out of it. That's what y'all wanted to hear. Now I'm saying it. They talk about stop playing. We just left this Hollywood party, baby. This Balenciaga party. Fuck with Balenciaga. Fuck with Lindsay. Lindsay cool. He cool. No, what do you say? When you uh get your uh taxes, I want I, bring me Balenciaga. Bring me Balenciaga himself. <laughs>